Good evening. Vigo County detectives solved their second cold case so far in 2014. Today, they arrested Earl Taylor, a former insurance agent, for the murder of his first wife, Kathy Dean Taylor, formerly of Vincent's. That happened in their North Terre Haute home in 1975. And Taylor has already served time in prison for murdering his second wife, Mindy Zadeba. Uh, we have News 10's John Swanner in the studio to help sort out this story for us. In tonight's top story, Vigo County detectives tell us how they were able to crack this nearly 40-year-old case. John? Mike and Patrice, the family of Kathy Dean Taylor has waited more than 39 years for this day, and many involved in this case say they knew it was Taylor who was behind Kathy Taylor's murder. This is video of Earl Taylor being led to the Vigo County Jail following his arrest this morning at the public library. A then 22 year old Taylor told police he came home to find his wife dead in their bathtub. He told police a clock radio had fallen into the water, electrocuting her. But police say they were able to prove his story as a fabrication. Kathy's lungs had water in them and she had other injuries consistent um, with drowning. Detectives past and present talk about the case. At the time, uh, back in 75, yes, it was very frustrating. We couldn't understand all the procedures, apparently, uh, that the law provided. And uh, at the time, we didn't know why charges were not filed. As we reviewed it, we seen some things that, uh, wow, there was more there than what we thought was necessary to file. Uh, and we thought we could add some more pieces to that puzzle and hopefully present it to the prosecutor's office and get charges filed this time. And that they did. Earl Taylor said nothing to detectives after his arrest, only requesting a lawyer. He'll have his day in court tomorrow morning, where formal charges will be presented. We'll have much more on this story tonight on Nightwatch. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, John.